Talk to me nice Talk to me honestly Look in my eyes Don't let it fall on me Say you a good guy Make me believe it Don't wanna hear it I want What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing my daily and probably nightly as well hygiene oral routine yes this is a oral hygiene video so if you're not with that type of stuff i suggest you move on to the next video but i really would want you to stay so you can get witty you know what i'm saying and have perfect smelling breath also whiter teeth daily but anyways before we get any further into the video Hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you'll be notified of when I come to you guys with new videos and content of any sort. Also, be sure to turn on all notifications. Not some, not a little bit, but all notifications. And with that being said, please also be sure to go on and give this video a big thumbs up because who does not like to have perfect oral hygiene? You know, talking in people's faces breath travels the scent travels your teeth might be yellow let's get them white okay but anyways also visit that description box where you'll find all my social media pages as well as my amazon storefront where you can shop a lot of the products that you guys might see me use in the videos and in this particular video there is a lot of hygiene products that i did actually get from amazon so yeah and be sure to follow me on TikTok, which will be right here. And also follow my Instagram. So when I'm not posting on here or TikTok, you can keep up with me still. So here's my Instagram. Here we go. It's right here. And yeah, with that being said, let's jump right into this video. All right, you guys, I'm back and we're going to go ahead and get right into this oral hygiene video. The thing that I like to do first is go ahead and brush now i'm gonna let you know some fundamental <laughs> fundamental some fundamental things about brushing your teeth make sure you have a toothbrush of choice it does not have to be battery operated or mechanical this is the good things that mine does then also make sure for after brushing you have somewhere sterile to store your toothbrush at Mine is a, let me tell y'all what it is while I'm just showing it to you. It's a SteriPod. This is my old toothbrush holder for the toothbrush that I used to use. And yeah, first things first, you get right into brushing. Um, let me open up this toothbrush first so we can get into this, you guys. All right. This is what it looks like out of the pack. The bristles, let's fill them. This feels like firm or medium, which is good. I like that. The next thing you want to have on hand is your toothpaste of choice. Make sure that it is a toothpaste that is fit for your mouth. This toothpaste that I use is very fit for my mouth. I would recommend it for everybody, but hey, some people like the burn and the fizz of the foam from toothpaste. But I would recommend the professional formula by TheraBreath. It's dentist formulated fresh breath toothpaste. Freshens breath for 24 hours is an anti-cavity, anti-tartar with soothing aloe vera gel in it as well. The aloe vera gel is in it because it helps heal canker sores, cuts, and more that be inside of the mouth. This is what it looks like. I don't know if it's focusing, you guys. That's what it looks like. So we're going to go in with our toothpaste first and get to brushing these teeth. A lot of people say a pea size amount is good. I don't know. I like to, as y'all see, do that. This toothpaste is clear, like I said, because it is a natural based toothpaste. It has aloe vera gel in it. It does not fizz when you're brushing your teeth at all. So yeah, I like to wet the toothbrush a little bit and then we're gonna go in and you're gonna see how I brush my teeth and you're gonna see as to why I don't rinse afterwards.
brushing your teeth, like I said, make sure you rinse your toothbrush, not your mouth. And then we're going to store our toothbrush in a good area where it does not get bacteria buildup. So you're going to open the steri pot like a, a paper clip, open it up, put it in there, and yes, it holds your toothbrush. I'm going to put that in my toothbrush holder. All right. I'm going to throw it in my trash if I do this. Um, the next step I would like to do is my water flossing. The reason why you do not want to go in and rinse your mouth like with water, putting your head up under the sink to rinse your mouth is... Why did you just brush your teeth? For fresh minty breath, right? And white teeth. Rinsing your mouth is going to take that minty, whatever taste that your toothpaste may be out of your mouth. So, yeah. But I like to go in flossing. First, we're going to go in with our water floss. <laughs> I cannot talk. First, we're going to go in with our water flosser. This is what it looks like. The water's back here. And there's different levels. I don't know if it's going to focus enough for y'all to see these different levels of what it does. But I'm going to go ahead and turn up. Oh, hold on. I don't want to turn it on midair. When you turn it on, it's going to start, you know, y'all about to see. Just <laughs> hold on. It's going in on my gum line in between the teeth and it's just power force. It's like a, a power wash. You know what I'm saying? If y'all know what a power wash is, this is a power wash for the cracks in between the teeth in your mouth. And it's just getting off in there and getting all that stuff out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up with this. As y'all can see, this is how much water I have left in there. You want to do it all the way through before proceeding to your next step for your dental care. So I'll be right back, you guys. I'm completely done with that part of my oral hygiene and as y'all see I'm just wiping down my product right now that I just used if you have too much water left over this does have a back door to where you can go ahead and just dump the rest out but yeah let me get ready to show y'all my teeth this is currently what they look like next I want to go in with my grin double twice the clean teeth flossers Ooh, i'm over here messing up stuff y'all but anyways raw uncut real life oral 
hygiene video. So, yeah. Let me wipe this down because I don't know. That little water flosser was shooting water all over the place. Y'all, excuse my phone going off. Um, it's the my man's, my man's, my man's. Um, I'm about to show y'all what these look like out of the pack. I love these things and now I swear by them and will forever keep buying them. But like I said, here are the Grin Double Floss Flossers. These longer floss wraps around tooth for a spool floss like clean. It's earth loving made with recycled plastic. They have two lines of super strong floss straps for food and plaque and it will get it out. And they are, uh, what does it say? Oh, they also have the safe fold backable picks and don't come at me. That's what the package said, safe fold backable, whatever. But here's the pick right here, if you see me do that. But it's nice and snug in there so you can't hurt yourself. You're gonna just take this and go in between the teeth. Like so, and I'm gonna finish with looking in the mirror. Then what I like to do is I like to fold the pick back and then just the bottom teeth in the front or if all of your teeth are very close together, just go in there. Y'all, I really apologize that my phone keeps dinging through this video, but hey. Um, Afterwards, make sure you fold this back like this and dispose of it as I'm doing right now. Dispose. The next thing that we're going to go on to before we mouthwash. I know a lot of people like tongue scraping after they mouthwash, but again, think about that. Does that make sense? You're mouthwashing with something to leave your breath smelling nice and good, but you're going to scrape it away with the tongue scraper. Not the proper way to do things. Let me get these open, but let me show y'all before I take one out what the packaging looks like. These are the Grin Recyclable and Disposable Tongue Scrapers. I love these. They're hygienic scrapers that gently remove bacteria from your tongue. So say bye-bye to bad breath because that's where it stems from. The tongue, really the back area of the tongue. So make sure you scrape way back there because bad breath stems from the throat and the back of the tongue. So I'm about to show y'all how this works. I might not be able to look directly at the camera, so let me see if I can get apart. Okay, a good angle. So I can still be over my sink, but yeah. All right, that's it for the tongue scraping. As y'all can see, I did that. Normally, I would like to go in with my oil pulling and whitening serum in a bottle by Guru Nanda, but we're gonna skip that today because I've already did double the flossing and all that. And plus, my toothpaste was whitening toothpaste and the mouthwash is whitening as well. Y'all, I don't care what you say. This is dentist approved. 
and it works very well for my mouth i know it'll work very well for y'all so let me try to turn y'all around it'll work very well for your mouth as well ditch listerine ditch colgate ditch axe ditch any alcohol based mouthwash please now throw it away and go get you some thera breath as you can see i have thera breath right here this is my first time trying this one, but I'm going to show you the one that I normally use beforehand. It was this one right here. And I've also recently purchased the uh, pink bottle as well. Um, I feel the only thing different about these mouthwashes would be the flavoring of them. And let me also show y'all that my whole family is hipped on game when it comes to TheraBreath. They have it for children also. Here's what it looks like. They also have a green bottle for the kids. It says kids on it, but I believe that's watermelon flavored. This is great. But, um, hold on y'all, my phone. Um, this one that I just showed y'all, however, is the TheraBreath Dentist Formulated Whitening Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. It helps remove stains and prevents future staining of your teeth. So while giving you that good dazzling mint flavor in your mouth, it is also whitening your teeth and helping your teeth to stay white um it whitens without peroxide so no worries there although peroxide is good however for cuts in the mouth but that's where this toothpaste right here like i said the therabreath toothpaste comes in hand because it has aloe vera gel in it and in that if y'all know about aloe vera gel basically because i'm stumbling over my words it is a healing agent a healing property derived from the earth so yes also, this says it is safe to use every day, which it is, and it has no alcohol, 100% guaranteed non-burning. That means you're going to get all the benefits of whitening for your teeth and fresh breath without the burn. How many of y'all are ready to say bye-bye to mouthwash that burns your mouth? If you're ready to do that, go ahead and get you some of this, the TheraBreath. They have many different ones on their line. Pick which is best for you. I guarantee you're going to love it. But me, let's get this open. Y'all thought I was playing. This is my first time using the whitening one, so we're using it together. I have to open that up real quick. Dispose of your trash as you go along. What I'm going to do is just give it a little swirl around. You want to make sure you rinse for two minutes, so that's what we're about to do. It's 340. This one's a little cloudy. The other ones are clear, but I guess it's because the whitening agent and property in here. So let's get this in my mouth. I'm going to do it in real time for two minutes. So it's 340 at 342. We are going to spit this out of our mouths.
guys. As y'all can see, I have spit out the Therabreath Whitening Mouthwash. My breath feels so minty fresh. My teeth feel extremely clean. Let's give them a look. That might be a little cricket or whatever, but they white, baby, okay? Check the bottoms. Or whatever, so nice, quick, and simple oral hygiene routine. You guys can do it morning, noon, or night. If you so happen to eat breakfast in the morning, wait 30 minutes after eating to brush, okay? If you have the time to do it. If you don't, understandable, but if you have that time, Go ahead and you can brush again if you feel free to do it. If you don't feel up to it, brush at nighttime. The, the minimum you do at night if you don't feel like brushing, at least floss and mouth wash your mouth before going to bed to maintain your oral hygiene. Because look, life happens to us all and sometimes we get tired and don't feel like doing it, right? So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the product again. Yes. Tongue scrapers and double line floss picks by Grin. Then we're going to show the toothpaste and the mouthwash. Yes. Okay. Or oh, whatever. <laughs> and we cannot forget the oral irrigator, formerly known as a mouth water flosser. I'm going to show y'all all sides of the box to show you guys what it does. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the oral hygiene side of things. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it this far in the video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so yet. Also, thumbs up this video for more content like this, and I will update you guys with different things as well that you could use to maintain your oral hygiene when it comes to products that y'all want to know about or products that I use. And if you want to know products to stay away from, let me know in the comments down below and we can do a video on that as well. But that pretty much is it for this video. And just like any of my other videos, we're going to end this video the correct way. If nobody else loves you guys, remember, God loves you and so do I. I thank you guys for watching this video and I cannot wait to see you guys in my very next one. Mwah. This is...